G'day, City Light Church family, Don here with an important update about how we're going to progress forward now that some of the COVID restrictions have been reduced in South Australia. So even as recently as yesterday, the state government came out and said that uh, instead of being one person per four square metres, gatherings like our Sunday gatherings will now only be uh, restricted to one person per two square metres, which has been really fantastic. So uh, for the last week or two, we have been aiming on meeting together again here at Byron Street for our regular kind of gatherings from July 5. So not next week, but the week after. We want to get together July 5. It's going to be a little bit different to normal. As you know, uh, our discipleship groups have been different more recently. Most groups now are meeting either in person or a hybrid of in person and people beaming in from from online, Zoom or um, Skype or those kinds of things. And most people on Sundays have been gathering in their discipleship groups or with other families and kind of watching a stream or participating in a live stream from Byron Street where we've aimed to make our uh, Byron Street gatherings as much as if they're in your lounge rooms as possible so that we can be together in that kind of way, together although scattered. But from July 5th, we're going to be gathering together again. We will continue to stream, but our streams now will be more trying to be more like getting you from wherever you are as if you were in Byron Street rather than the gathering as if it was in your lounge room because we want to get together again. We want to, we value being together again. We want to not stop meeting together again like the writer of Hebrews tells us to. Uh, and so we want to get together. It's going to be different. We're still bound by some social distancing or physical distancing rules, which means we need to go to three gatherings, not just two. <clears throat> um, a couple of years ago, we met for three gatherings on a Sunday. We came down to two so that we could put a little bit more pressure on one gathering as we uh, as we planted out south. As you know, we are intending to plant in the eastern suburbs, the Lord willing, we'll do that um, early next year, but we won't be able to come back to two gatherings until later on in the year when the government basically tell us it's, it's safe to do so. So what we're doing is we're moving to three gatherings, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 5.15 p.m. 9 a.m., we're going to be having our kids program, but not at the 11 and at the 5.15. So if you are a family with young children, primary school age children, I want to invite you to come to that 9 a.m. gathering. You can come to any of the gatherings, obviously, but we'll have that uh, program specifically to help you disciple your kids at the 9 a.m. gathering, then 11 and 5.15. We're going to ask you to check in to everyone that comes. We'll have to uh, keep a record of everyone that comes in. Um, we'll, we'll have we'll let you know how to do that as the day uh, draws closer. But what I want you to do as well is to give us an indication of which gathering you're keen to come to. So go to this address here, cedarlight.church forward slash RSVP. These aren't ticketed events. You can come to any event. Even if you say, yeah, I'm going to come to the 11, you can still come to the 515. But to help us, help our service teams, help our, our musos and um, welcomers and kids team and uh, coffee team and MC and, and preachers and all that kind of stuff, to help our volunteers and ministry directors uh, to be able to prepare for those gatherings. Can you give us an indication which gathering you and your family are planning to come to? Again, you can come to another gathering, but to help us uh, by give us an, giving us an indication on which one you're coming to. I'm really looking forward to getting together again. July 5 is just two Sundays away, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 5.15 p.m. Look forward to seeing you there.